lovelies welcome back to my channel so today i have a polygel kit to review this time i'm going to be reviewing melody susie uh, polygel kit for the first time you guys i'm going to give it a try um so let me just tell you a little bit about the product so this one you can buy it at amazon that's where they have their store um this one right here is six colors of 15 gram i do have a 20 percent off good until the september 10 of this year so i'm gonna leave it right here for you guys and of course i'm gonna leave a link where you guys can find this all right you guys so i already have uh, my nails um prepared like i already pushed back my cuticles and removed the old poly gel and i know my nails look kind of ugly but it's okay uh also i love the box <laughs> it's so pretty and it was wrapped in some plastic uh plastic wrap so we're gonna go ahead and open the box so I can show you guys what came inside. I'm gonna try to make it fit. So let me just flip it. All right, you guys, so first of all, you will get a user manual, which tells you how to use a product, how to, uh, you can, you know, build your poly gel nails, all that good stuff, um, customer service, all that stuff. So this is always good to have, just in case you guys run into any kind of problems and here i have the six different colors so we're gonna take these out and we'll go over them and then you will get a base coat and a top coat okay and you're also going to get a slip solution let me just get it out I need some help Wow, <laughs> the struggle is real. Okay, so this is the slip solution. This one is 30 ml, and then you're gonna remove this part of the box uh, so you can find your dual forms, a file, and also a brush. There you go. So let's get the brush out. So you're basically getting the whole thing, all the stuff you need to create a poly gel um, mani, you will get it here. So I'm not gonna be using these dual forms because my nails, I want my nails uh, to be more longer than this. So I usually use the other ones, but I will use this and I'm gonna go ahead and start creating my poly gel uh nails and yeah you guys i'm gonna go ahead and show you the colors that we got we got the natural pink we got uh worship and then clear i love clear uh light pink nude pink and you're also gonna get white all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and so get started. We're gonna go ahead and start by um, using some of this uh, slip solution, and I'm just gonna pour right there the little nail dish thing. I already got my dual forms here. Um, before I get started, I haven't decided which one I want to use. I think I want to use maybe one of these. Let's see the light pink instead of just clear. Uh, no, that's not the one I want to use. I want to use like a transparent one. This one is not transparent either. Let's see. Let's see the nude. And I'm going to show you every color. And no, no. That's not what I want. Let's see this one. Maybe. Yeah, so I think I'm going to use this one. Alright, you guys. Let's have the clear. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and I, I'm gonna do this review like I always do. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by, uh, let me get a wipe and some alcohol. And I'm just gonna clean my nails. And I'm also gonna clean my dual forms. And these are the dual forms that I love for my nails. I always end up using these, you guys. 
Uh, so before I get started, I need some primers. Um, so I'm gonna use. Where's the other one? Oh yeah, nail primer. And I'm just gonna show you the how I do the first nail while I'm talking to you guys. All right. All right, so once that primer uh, uh, is dry, you guys can go ahead and start applying your base coat. Now, I'm just gonna do this, just to make sure my cuticles push all the way back. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the base coat. Cure it for 30 this seconds. Completely you guys. Cure, so I'm just gonna clean my brush and then I'm just gonna go ahead and use my tool. Such a nice pretty pink. I haven't used pink in a long time. I usually just do my nails, especially my left hand. Um on clear poly gels and I love how easy it was for me to just kind of spread the poly gel with the tool I love when poly gels are easy to work with and if you feel like uh, you don't have enough poly gel on your dual form you can add more it depends I like my nails to be thin, not super thick, but I think I'm gonna need a little bit more. And it's really easy to work with. So once you're happy with the amount of poly gel you got on your dual form, you can just go ahead and apply it to your nail. So now I'm ready to cure this. So I'm going to stick it in the nail for 30 seconds, you guys. All right, All right. so this is completely cure. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove the dual form. And that's how my nail looks. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good under. So yeah. So you guys, I'm going to continue doing the rest of the nails. And then I'll be back to show you what's next. So let's get started.
All right, you guys, so I'm done. This is the last one that I was going to do. I do want to uh, show you guys something. So if you feel like your nails are super thin after you actually cure them, you can always go back. And I'm not saying this is the right way to do. This is the way I do it, and it works for me. It's up to you if you guys want to do this or not. Um, but you can always go back and just add a little bit of poly gel. And just to kind of, you know, make it a little bit uh, thicker. Again, this is something I like to do. If I feel like maybe they're super thin in some parts or they're not even, I always like to go back and do this. And it works. Again, I'm not professional. I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. This is what works for me. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and start filing and show you you're done it. curing all your nails. You can go ahead and start filing and shaping your nails. You see how I have some poly gel left on the side? That's okay. That shouldn't be a problem. I can just go ahead and file it. And here's the perfect example of some, some problems you can run into. Um, let me just show you in a minute. And I like when stuff like this happens because I can always show you guys how to take care of that problem instead of just, you guys see how I'm missing some poly gel right there? Well, for me, that's not a problem. That's a easy fix, you guys. Um, you guys grab your poly gel, grab a tiny bit of your poly gel, just like that. And you guys can just go ahead and apply it and start putting it on your nail on the part you actually missing a little bit you guys how you basically you're just building that little part that is missing and that's a really easy fix and you can do that with all your nails so i'm gonna go ahead and cure that all right you guys so you guys see how now that's fixed so i'm just gonna go ahead and clean it and i'm gonna go ahead and show you how this nail is gonna look after i file I don't know if I want to have pointy nails this time. Probably will. I always go back to pointy nails. <laughs> so I'm just filing. And that's what I'm going to do with all my nails. I'm going to go ahead and file, shape them. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and come back and show you the, the rest of the colors and yeah top coat and we're done so I'm just showing you and you see the poly gel that end up over here in the top I can always just file it drill it if you don't have a drill you can just go ahead and use your file there's always a way you guys and when I first started doing poly gels, they looked probably terrible. But now they look, I wouldn't say professional, <laughs> but they look way better. That's how my nail looks. All I gotta do is um, buff it and top coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and right, file guys, the so rest of how my nails look after I file. I shape them and drill them. I think they really, they look really nice. I'm just gonna leave this um, shape for now. I might just go back to pointy later on. So all I need to do is top coat. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and top coat all my nails. And I'm going to top coat the bottom too. I'm going to go ahead and start curing it. Do like a flash cure.
Make sure you don't have any top coat around your cuticle area. And that's one thing that I remember I used to always have trouble when I first started doing my nails. I used to flood my cuticle, my cuticle area, especially with the top coat and the base coat. And it took some practice to actually get it right. So if you're new doing this, don't worry. You, um, you will get better after you keep practicing doing your nails. So I'm just, re I'm just saying this because there's a lot of new people nowadays doing their nails at home. So, um, yeah, don't, don't be sad or. Don't quit just because you have a mess. <laughs> uh, believe me, it will get better after a while of practicing. Uh, so yeah. So I'm gonna cure this for hey guys, 30 so this seconds. This is how my nails look after I top coat and cure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some uh, cuticle oil because my cuticles look pretty dry right now they feel really dry too from all that acetone and all that stuff that i've been using um all right so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go ahead and um st start swatching the rest of the colors for you guys that way you guys can see the colors uh i will do that on top of this little thing right here um that way you guys can just see the colors so we're gonna go ahead and get started but before let me just show you one more time my nails i think they look beautiful they look perfect again i'm not a professional but i love how my nails look especially when i do my left hand i feel like they look the best although my right hand still looks really nice but yeah you guys the uh, poly gel works great easy to work with so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get started uh swatching the other colors All right, you guys, so this is how all the colors look. I think they look pretty nice. All they need is a top coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and top coat just to see the difference, you guys. Um, but listen, I really like this poly gel. It works really good. And um, yeah, the clear one looks pretty good too. And see, when you actually top coat, it does look a little bit more different. Ooh, the clear one looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Not bad, huh? All right, I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Uh, another thing that I wanted to mention before I go, I really like this color. It looks so pretty on my nails. So, so pretty. Um, I wanted to show you guys uh, this box. Uh, if you see, it comes with the key ingredients and other ingredients. So definitely, is that something to, you worry about? It comes in the box. Um, so other than that, you guys, I think this is a really nice set. Especially... Um, like I said, if you don't, 
if you're like doing your nails at home and you don't you're not a professional I think you will like this one um, there's so many nowadays but this one is pretty good I like it I had zero problems using it so definitely recommend it uh, this is how it looks uh, after cure and as you guys can see the clear one oh my goodness the clear one looks pretty good I really like the color so let me just go over the colors so this is the one I have on my nails and then I have natural pink which is this one and then I went with the light pink and then the white and then I have the nude which is this one and then the clear so yeah you guys those are all the colors on this set um, definitely again definitely recommend them I really enjoy using them I really like how my nails look what do you guys think um, yeah you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think um, other than that, I have nothing else to say other than I do like it. I give it a big thumbs up. Uh, also, if you like this kind of videos, give it a big thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye, you guys. Bye.